Hey, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another day of Confessions of a Paper Addict's 20 Days of Cut Files. Don't forget, you can get 20% 25% off. Oh my goodness, in the Etsy store. The link to the Etsy shop is down below if you are interested in going and checking out um, any of the cut files that Virginia has for sale. She has uh, so many options there you are surely to find something. Um, so I really loved this Santa cut file where the A is actually a Santa and he actually matches the Santa that I was on the um, list. There was like a Santa wish list on uh, maybe like three or four days ago, two or three days ago. And um, so he kind of matches that and I really, I really liked that. So I don't even actually know if these are going to be in the same album because I am working from photos from three different years but I believe the, they are all from 2007, so it'll be a little continuity there as well. So I don't typically use nu Nouveau drops, but in this case, I decided I was gonna go ahead and use these crystal drops in white to put on his beard and the little tassel on his uh, hat and his mustache to give a little texture. And I'm gonna actually probably go back and do that on the prior, um, layout as well. I, I didn't think about it at that time, but I really like the way that this looks. And so I'm, I gave him a little bit of texture and a little bit of shine and gloss to his, um, facial hair. <laughs> I thought that was kind of fun. Um, you saw there that the paper that I'm using is called Wishmas and it's from Fancy Pants. It's pretty old. I've had it in my stash for quite some time. Um, I don't know if you can still get it. It is actually the same paper that I used with the uh, Santa that looks the identical, but I used the other side of the paper, which was blue with some snowflakes on it. So it's pulling in the same colors because it is the same collection and I like the way that it looks. Now I am using some candied apple distress ink. I believe it's candied apple. And um, I am just inking up around the edges of my photos. I did back them all with white paper and I am just inking up the outside of the entire layout as well, just to give a little bit more of a red sheen to the edges and to provide a little continuity with the photos. Now the photos, I felt they needed that actual red around them just to kind of make them pop out because um, the white, the background paper being primarily white um, didn't leave a lot of um, pop for that white paper that I used to back my photos. I could have used a red paper or some other paper, but I think this works just as well. And I really do like my photos to have a white edge around them. You'll see that in many of my videos, if not all. <laughs> so, um, okay, maybe not all, but m many of them. So I did cut a piece of that white paper to be the exact same um, size as the space that I needed to fill to create this kind of grid. It's not exactly a grid. It is, it's kind of a grid because it's a one big large square when it's all said and done, but, um, not all of my lines line up perfectly, uh, because the photos are different sizes. And I actually quite like that. It just provides some visual interest and I think it's kind of fun. So I am going to cut out some letters because I actually don't just want my title to say Santa. I want my title to say who is Santa or who's Santa. Now, in um, all honestly, honesty, I probably should have put a question mark at the end of the word Santa because I'm really asking the question, who is Santa? Um, because in our house, we call whoever hands out the gifts Santa. So there's usually a, a small quick discussion of, hey, who's going to play Santa this year? That's the person who's passing out the gifts from under the tree. And um, I used to do that when I was younger and I loved it. I thought it was a lot of fun. You get to kind of control how fast everybody's getting their gifts and you get to kind of watch people open their stuff. And at the end, uh, the person who's playing Santa usually has a big pile of stuff to open because theirs kind of gets left to last. Um, but as I've gotten older, my kids have gotten older. My daughter has taken on the task. My son's done it uh, a couple of times. But my daughter normally is the one who would do it before she had Noah. And um, now she has other jobs to do. So uh, I don't know who will be playing Santa this year. Maybe my son will be doing it. I'm not really 100% sure on that. But um, we did have my nephew do it one year. And he was really great about reading who the gift was to but not who it was from. So if it said dad on it, he handed it to his dad 
but he didn't really notice that it was from me. And I don't call my brother dad. I call my dad dad. So he gave it to the wrong person and he did it multiple times. Um, so he kind of got fired from the job. <laughs> so that's what my journaling is about. Our whole uh, tradition of who's playing Santa. And that's where my journaling is going is down in that white square. So I did cut out the words who is, but I, I used a font that was a little bit too wide to fit in the space that I wanted it to fit in. So instead of um, saying who is, I used the dot from the I to be an apostrophe and I just changed it to whose. And that let me kind of squeeze it in a little tighter so that the word whose ends at the same place the word Santa ends. Again, probably should have had a question mark, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I like the way that it looks. If I add a question mark, it's going to kind of throw the whole page off. And you really do get the idea that it is a question. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, I did put some white foam behind those letters. And how I do that is I just uh, put the patterned paper onto some white foam. And then I go ahead and cut with the dies through my little sidekick there. And if you want to know, if you want to see that, I can link, um, I will put a link to my video on how I do that down below. It is kind of self-explanatory, but if you're more of a visual learner than an auditory learner, you might want to actually see the process in more detail. So I'll leave that down below for you. Um, oddly, the only two embellishments going on this layout are those two chipboard pieces, that little banner and the fa la la. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> so um, I am going to do a little bit of journaling and um, I can't even remember if I add a little bit of uh, color shine or um, splatter, but we'll see that in just a moment here while I remind you that there are a bunch of people playing along with this hop. So go and check out everyone. All of the links are down below. Um, if you've missed any of my videos, I have a playlist for it. Uh, you can also go and um, just look on my channel on any of the last days, December 1st through now and you'll find all of the videos. Actually, it'll be November, the last day of November because the um, hop is sponsored by Confessions of a Paper Addict, which is in New Zealand, and they are a day ahead of us. So their December 1st was um, our last day of November. So anyway, links are down below. Go and check that out. If you don't mind hitting the thumbs up, I would really, really appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I really do um, enjoy having you guys here. And I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and choosing my channel. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye-bye.